Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Ferrari 360 Modena. In this episode, we're gonna see if we can actually fix something and that would be pretty miraculous. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Uh, I really hope you enjoy it and consider subscribing if you like this kind of content. We've got some stuff on the Ferrari 360M. We've also got two uh, AMG Mercedes to keep us, keep us happy. So it'd be great to have you as a subscriber. So in this episode, we're gonna try and deal with an issue that we've had with the Ferrari uh, relating to cold starts. So for the last few weeks when I've been starting this, the revs have been really uh, variable. Um, it's kind of spluttered into life. Uh, and then when, you've, when I've tried to drive it out of the garage, the revs have gone up and down, up and down. Take a look at this clip, which I recorded a few days ago. So you'll see the revs were really unstable. It wasn't revving properly. Uh, the engine was spluttering. So I thought I'd try and work out what might be the problem and what's causing this um, issue. Um, there could be a whole bunch of stuff, obviously, that could be wrong with this engine that's causing that to happen. But one of the most obvious things we can check is the uh, mass airflow sensor. Um, so Ferraris are actually really good because they are very clear in their layout here. The air for the engine comes in through these vents at the side here, through a ducting here, and into the bottom of this air box, which we'll see inside in a minute. Inside here is the air filter, and the air comes through the filter, and then through this passageway here, and through the throttle body, and into the intake manifold. What we have here in the throttle body is obviously a a throttle valve and that controls the amount of air that's being let into the engine have two one on either side and in order to get the, the correct amount of petrol injected into the cylinders you have a little sensor in here which is called a mass airflow sensor uh, which measures the amount of air which is traveling um, through this pipe because the chemical reaction between petrol and air is based on the mass of the air flowing in because air changes its, its characteristics depending on the temperature and the altitude. So if, if, if air gets warmer, it gets less dense. If you higher up um, in altitude, it gets less dense. That means if you're just looking at the volume, the same volume of air passing through this tube um, might correspond to a lesser amount of air mass. So this sensor is very clever because it actually measures the amount of mass irrespective of the density of the air. And it does that by using two platinum wires. Uh, one uh, measures the, the ambient temperature and the other one is uh, heated and measures the amount that the air flowing past that wire cools the heated wire. And because the cooling of the heated wire is based on the the mass of the air that's flowing past it, this sensor can uh, calculate the, the mass of air going into the engine and adjust the amount of fuel uh, to be mixed with it. Very simple, very simple kind of setup, but very cleverly done. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take off this air box here and we're just gonna basically spray some cleaner onto the, the mass airflow sensor, which is in the middle here. Now I'm not gonna take this off here. You, this, is, this whole part basically comes as one unit. Um, this is crimped in here and I'm not gonna undo that because I'd need to get a new clamp and crimp it again. But this part here is just simply clipped on and there are four bolts around here uh, which hold on the air box. So we're gonna take that off now. So we're taking the air box off, that just comes out like that, there we go. that's it. So that's the air box, you can just see that's just basically an empty space which goes into the throttle body there. This is your air filter obviously, and you can see that the air comes in 
through here. Anyway, that's your air filter. Then if we look in here, we should be able to see the mass airflow sensor. So if I just hold this up, you can see the mass airflow sensor is in there. I don't know if you can see the the two wires, but it's uh, that's the thing that's kind of sticking out into the airflow there. And this kind of honeycomb section here, it basically turns the air into more laminar flow so that um, it accurately measures the mass of air flowing across the entire diameter of the pipe. Um, if it was turbulent, then it wouldn't be able to get a good measure of the of the airflow. So uh, has to make make it laminar, which um, means that the velocity is pretty constant all the way across. So all I'm going to do is just basically spray a little bit of this cleaner in here. And when that's evaporated, we're going to put the, the air box back on here and uh, Hopefully that should that should help the problem and then we'll obviously do the other the other air intake on this side as well. And clip those back on and that's all done. So now we've done both sides. We'll have to wait until the engine's cooled off and we'll try another cold start. A few inches later. It'd be interesting to see whether this trick has fixed it or not. What's the betting? In three, two, one. Wow, that's actually way better. That started with a decent, decent revs. Amazingly, let's see if it does the jerky thing going forward. No, it's smooth. So wow, that's actually, that's actually worked, which is amazing. So uh, just by cleaning those MAF sensors, we've actually fixed that issue with the, the startup, the cold start and the uh, the kind of surging revs that was doing before. So that's that's pretty amazing. <laughs> I fixed something on the Ferrari, wow. I never thought something as simple as cleaning the MAF sensors would actually improve the, the cold starting performance, but there we go. So we're just gonna take it for a little bit of a spin just to see how it's performing. Seems to be running actually a bit smoother. I mean, if the, if the air to fuel mixture is wrong, then it can cause the engine to run rough and, um, you know, it'll either run lean or um, run rich, either of which will cause problems. So it's actually, yeah, it's running really smoothly, which is fantastic. Simple fix. I read that you're supposed to clean the MAF sensors once every uh, every time you change the air filters, but I'm not sure whether it was done the last time I had the air filters changed, which was quite a while ago, it was back in December. So anyway, it certainly seemed to improve that cold start, which is excellent. So, wow, yay, result. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative, uh, useful maybe. Um, certainly I was surprised at how much of a difference cleaning the MAF sensors has actually made to the cold starting and also um, to the general running, which seems to be very smooth. So yeah, very happy. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like. It'd be great to have you as a subscriber. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos. You can follow me on Instagram down here and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.